Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to install iCloud on your Raspberry Pi. This can be useful if you mainly use Apple devices, but you also have a Raspberry Pi and you want it to have the files that the other devices have. Let's get right to it. First thing you want to do is head over to the terminal. You want to open up a terminal window and type sudo apt install snapd dash y. Now I already have this, but this will install this. And now you want to do sudo reboot and just press enter, but I'm not actually going to do it since I already have this installed and I've rebooted. So now sudo snap install core and that is already installed as well. Now sudo snap install iCloud dash four dash Linux. Okay, I just skipped through that and now it is installed. So what we should be able to do is go up here, right here in other, you will have everything here. I'm not sure why there uh, are repeats of stuff, but let's open up one of them. So like notes, I use notes quite a bit. This is taking quite a while to open, but we have to sign into iCloud Heather, so I'm going to do that. And you have to enter a verification code from another device. And then I recommend just doing trust this browser. And I also recommend checking keep me signed in. So then you will not have to do this each time you open the program. I close that out because it has my personal notes, but that is just how you do it. And then you should be able to go in and you won't have to sign in again. Now let's see if we go to something else if we have to sign in. That works all right. It takes quite a while to load though. So that is the downside to using this. It's basically loading the web app. So you could just go to iCloud.com, but it's nice to have it in sort of an app form. So I'm wondering what iCloud Drive does. Yeah, so it doesn't mount it in the file manager or anything like that. It's just basically a web app, but it's kind of, you know, in an app form. So. I don't know, but anyway, you can do this and it's a little more convenient than the web app, I would say, but you want to keep them open. I would recommend if you use them frequently because they take a long time to open. So you're going to be waiting around for a long time for stuff to open or you can just keep it open. And of course, if you reboot your Pi, it will close it. But anyway, that is how to install iCloud on your Raspberry Pi. You can access all your iCloud apps there, of, except of course messages and stuff like that. They don't let you do that. Until next time, it's Fortnite Kiwi from Super User Projectile. If this video has helped you out, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We will see you next time.